ESPN's Game Day. Now, TV 34 is proud to present this 1978 Ohio State football classic between the Buckeyes of Ohio State and Hoosiers of Indiana. Back is Ron Springs. There the ball is pitched back to Murray, who has gotten in there, and Murray goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it out at the 23. That Murray stepped out of bounds right at the 23, so it's a six-yard game, second down and four. Easter on a quick handoff to Campbell. Campbell tries right guard. He is to the 20. It is set down. A flag is down. I think the pick is blocked. The man who blocked it was offside, Mark. Yes. Flags are down, and there is a five-yard step off against Indiana. Now, this will not quite be a first down, but the Buckeyes are within a yard of it. So now it is fourth and one, and Ohio will go for it. They're down on the eight now. Leister from a straight tee gives off to Campbell. He's got a first down. And two to four. The big backs remain in there. Campbell tries it again. Touchdown off right tackle. Paul Campbell of Ohio State. And so the Buckeyes lead six to nothing, and that was a costly offside penalty for Indiana. Now the Buckeyes will take over first and ten on their own 23. Actually, except for missing on that pass to Freedy in the end zone, uh, the Hoosiers were hurting the Buckeyes. This is Springs off right tackle to the 28. Now... The Buckeyes are going to go for it. They're not going to kick. Keep in mind, Tom Orris, the kicker, has a back problem today. Who's coaching the Buckeyes? Lee Corso? There's Campbell. And I don't think he has it. Joe he's Norman there. is the man who hit him. And look at Woody pointing out there. He says he has So now he's out there. It appeared he was stopped short, but let's see. He stopped way short. and the Hoosiers get the ball in great field position. As well as his running backs. Now it's Burnett and Johnson in there. Burnett tries it up the middle. Got a big hole. Almost broken. All the way to the five. Skilling saved the touchdown. Vince, number 48, came over. Burnett to Hark Raider. He's got it. Touchdown. Mike Hark Raider of Indiana. That's seven to six. Right over right guard. Freud's now going to try one from about the 20. There's Freud's attempt. It has the distance, and it is good. good. And Indiana takes the lead. 10 to 7. 30-yard field goal by David Freud. Puts the Hoosiers on top. 10 to 7. The Buck 10 to 7. 59 seconds remaining. Sleister with a ball, hands it off to Johnson. Johnson finds a hole up the middle. He's got a first down to the 32, and Ohio calls timeout. Sleister back to pass, is in trouble, is caught, throws one. Kind of a uh, little flip pass out there to an outlet man, Ricky Johnson, and he's hit immediately. The half of the first period. 13 seconds, first down. Sleister back to pass, has the time, throws it over the middle. It is caught by Campbell, and he's out of bounds, stopping the clock at five seconds. The field. Indiana has a two-man rush. Back to pass is Sleister. Runs out of trouble. There's time. Throws it upfield. It is caught and dropped. No, no pass. And that's the end of the, the ball. Half. So that'll end it. So that's the end of the first half with a score, Indiana 10, Ohio State 7. Another big play for Ohio State the last time the Buckeyes optioned. This time there's a quick handoff to Bali. He's got a first down across the 50. He's to the Indiana 47-yard line. That was another big play. The Buckeyes have it at the Indiana 47. Pitch out play to Johnson. Johnson cuts it in, finds a hole, and gets it to the Indiana 41. There's a quick handoff to Bali. He's got a first down. Oh, there's he great effort. Driving to the 30-yard line. A fine run by Rick Bali. His little penguin legs. Johnson again finds a hole off left tackle, and he's to the 20. Leister does the reverse pivot. Option keeps it. Keeps driving and is thrown to the ground at the 7 or 8-yard line. Leister. 
to Peyton. He's got a first down as he cracks off right tackle. And Joel gets it down to the two and a half to three yard line. Well, that's Probably. Second and goal. Take a look at both coaches now as they get ready to see this key play. Sleister on the option is over. Yes. Touchdown. Sleister was stopped at the one yard line, kept driving, and somehow got away for a score. Look at what he applauded that, Marv, and he did. You called that beautifully because he was second and six. It is. Scoreboard is third. There's a quick hand off to Bolly, and Bolly's got a first down off right guard as he just hammers his way out to the 45. Rick Bolly piles. Third, third, front third and two. Johnson tries the right side, breaks away. 30, 25, 20. Reverses his field and goes on the way to score. Westfield, I tell you, they, they had a seven man front then, Marv. We called that thing. A rookie Johnson just exploded out of there. Right down near the goal line, Roger L, number eight, got a crushing block. But what kind of a run was that? 46 yards. Look at the wide side of the field. Back to passes, Clifford gets excellent protection. Throws a bomb in the end zone. It is batted down and intercepted. It's called on Bob Murphy in the end zone. It's a long way from being over. There is Burnett, and he is close. Touchdown. In. Burnett got it. So back comes Indiana. Lundy starts in motion to the left. Clifford rolls back to pass, throws one in the end zone. It's Two-point extra point by Mike Freedy. Four minutes and 55 seconds left. Sleeskin with a ball on the option. Keeps it. Goes five. And it's Pollard at the 31-yard line. Come in. Well, I guess they don't. Well, you got Johnson and Bolly. Yes, it's still Johnson and Bolly. Sleeskin got a first down as he options around right side and again same thing 21 first downs for Ohio State Sleister pitches the ball back to Johnson Johnson eludes the tackler and gets it out to the 42 yard line Ricky the football if they don't get four yards on this play 238 and counting Sleister taking a lot of time options keeps it and fights his way down to the 47 yard line he does not have the first down or it does not appear that way they stop and I'm sure he's going to be at least a half a yard short he's short of the first down by yes about, about two feet so Ohio State will have to kick the football line of scrimmage the 17 yard line Clifford with a ball, drops back to pass, has time, throws one in an outcut that's caught by Johnson, and he's a 30-yard line. Burnett with a ball, back to pass, throws one out in the flat. It is caught out there by Powers, and Powers is tackled. Back in at the Indiana 42. Clifford with a ball. There's the reverse. Here's the pass off that. Thrown downfield. It is intercepted by Ohio State, and Kelly is... Set it, you know, it's Guess. Guess picked it off. And an Indiana player is down, Marv, the intended receiver. And I see a flag down. Mike Guess picked it off. A flag is down. Now, holding is called against Indiana. But I'll assure you that'll be forgotten. In no hurry, of course. Placer gets it and just falls down. Clock running, 17 seconds. I don't think Indiana can get the clock stopped. They cannot. Anymore. The Buckeyes do not have to put the ball in play again. So that'll just about do it. The clock running down, and that will be it. And Ohio State wins it 21 to 18 in a thrilling football game, a well-played football game. Well, that's the story here from Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana. What a dandy ball game we've had in Ohio State, won it 21 to 18.